1961, a group of friends named Don Six, Martin Levine, and Jim Kirsch opened the very first Red Barn restaurant in Springfield, Ohio, about 45 miles west of Columbus. The history of Red Barn is pretty sparse, and so the very early years, along with the initial expansion into a chain of restaurants around Ohio, is unknown. But what is known is that the buildings were built to look like barns, and the design was actually patented in 1962. The small regional chain was sold in 1963 to a company called Foodcraft, which was headquartered in Dayton, Ohio. Eventually, the headquarters would be moved from Ohio to Fort Lauderdale, Florida in 1964. Over the years, many new franchises were sold, and upwards of 400 locations opened throughout 22 states. The novelty of the restaurant theme appealed to families, with kids especially loving the opportunity to stop and have dinner. Red Barn used cartoon characters with names like Hamburger Hungry, Chicken Hungry, and Big Fish Hungry to pitch their food items. The jingle, When the Hungry's Hit, Hit the Red Barn, became a familiar tune if you lived around one of the restaurants. Some of the most popular items on Red Barn's menu were the Big Barney and the Barn Buster hamburgers, both of which resembled what McDonald's would call the Big Mac and the Quarter Pounder a few years later. Red Barn also claimed to be the first chain to have a self-service salad bar, which began in the late 1960s. In 1978, the company that owned Red Barn was acquired by Motel 6. At this point, real estate acquisitions and the construction side of the business dominated the company's priorities, so little money was put into advertising Red Barn during the 1980s. The company would eventually file for bankruptcy protection in early 1986. The number of franchised leases began to dwindle and were never renewed. Most of the Red Barn locations were converted to new businesses, but the distinctive barn-style roof line always makes it easy to pick one out. A few of the locations even continued operating, but they were renamed The Farm. For many years, two locations operating under the farm name continued to be open in Racine, Wisconsin and Bradford, Pennsylvania. They served the same menu as the original Red Barn and were a refuge for people seeking the comfort of the popular restaurant from their childhood. In 2015, the Bradford location closed permanently Five years later, in 2020, the Racine location also shuttered its doors.
For many, the memories of eating with your family, or maybe even getting your first job at the Red Barn, are things that will stick with you forever. But for all the Red Barn fans out there, when the hungries hit you now, you have to go elsewhere. As always, thank you so much for watching.